Isaiah Cozart picks it up and throws it down with authority. UK signee Dante Allen with the behind the back blow oh, by in the oh, sweet touch. Oh! Scott Kelly inside to Michael Moreno. Two-handed hammer. Kennedy I go. Long you go. is good. We go. I go. LCA's Kyle Rowe getting right to the rack, doing what he wants to do. Welcome to the award-winning Fox 56 High School Sports Extra, presented by Mr. Rooter Plumbing of Central Kentucky. Thanks for tuning in. That's Brian Milam. I'm Dan Reefer, and we tip off tonight with who else? The state's leading scorer and future Kentucky Wildcat, Dante Allen. Yeah, with a 52-point performance last night, Allen passing Talbert Turner Jr. to become Pendleton County's all-time leading scorer. He's now posted 50 points or more in five of the last 11 games. So, Allen entering tonight against Bryan Station, averaging only 44.6 points and 15 boards. Right off the bat, after a three of the opening minute, he adds another, the step back triple. Dante with just six at that point. Brian <laughs> Station trying to get on the board. The defenders winless this season, but Jalen Burbage, he's a baller. The Cincinnati football commit cuts the lead to two. Dante rounding second, phase first into third. Another, well, he's just triple teamed all night long. How about the fadeaway? He scored a career high 57. 57, man. 109 points in two nights. 109 points in two oh, nights. Six 50 point performances this year. Final score 93 81. The Cats win it. <laughs> All right. Last season. Wouldn't you like to see Scott County face Dante just by him? Just those two going at it. Yeah. Scott County rattled off 29 straight wins before coming up just a little bit short against Cove Cath in the Sweet 16 championship game. The cards have picked up right where they left off. They're 9 and 0 to start this season. And it's the way they're doing it this season. Oh. Absolutely destroying good teams. Winning games by an average of nearly 36 points. That leads the state. So does the 88 points per game Scott County averages. Fern Creek hoping to catch the cards on an off night. Good luck. <laughs> Michael Marino drives, draws the defense, kicks out to Bryce Long for the three. Cards lead the state in three-point field goal percentage, 46.8. And then off the turnover. Bryce Long, the outlet pass from Marino. His shot is blocked. Cam Fluker is there to clean it up. It's 7-0 cards just like that. Fern Creek says, hey, get, let's, let's get a timeout. Let's get a timeout. Scott County in transition again. Diablo Stewart to Fluker. He ain't no Fluker. It's 11-zip there. Scott County Man. improves to 10-0 with the 86-61 victory. And it wasn't even that close. Bourbon County and Butler. That's the Butler Bears we're talking about in the semifinals of the Henry Clay Holiday Invite. Tied at 53 late off the miss. Nakir Joyce saves it to Jace Wallace. Drive, spin, hoop, and one. Plus a technical was called, so the Colonels get a five-point possession. Wallace with 15, but the boys from Crumbs Lane rally. Marquis, Marcus Dorsey ties it with a sweet move. Jaden Lamb on the drive to Willard Minter for three in the lead. Butler holds on 68-63. Consolation bracket of the Henry Clay Holiday Invitational. Dunbar taking on Seven Hills out of Ohio. Fourth quarter, it's the Nate Clark Show. He was three of six from beyond the arc. There's one of them right there. And then check out the give and go to perfection. Oh, that's old school. Clark helping the Bulldogs hold off a comeback. At the other end, battle on the boards. Clark is Johnny on the spot. Beauty, Clark. Look at the finish. Clark led the Bulldogs with 15, and Dunbar wins 48-36 over Seven Hills. And consolation bracket also of the Henry Clay Holiday Invitational. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh we got moves. Over there was shaking her head. <laughs> West Jessman and Great Falls out of South Carolina. First quarter, West Jess Yallen Woods with the steal. Nice look to Dewan Step. Step had nine points, 12 boards, another turnover. And it's Dalton Bruner. Check out the handles. Oh. And oh, then oh. the left-handed finish. Hey. Bruner had 19 to lead the Colts. And then Bruner with the... Dime. Oh, that's bad. Braden Fomas oh. for the easy deuce. He had 18. West Jess wins 87-77. Shelby County. That was great. <laughs> Shelby County and Lafayette meeting in the clash of the Titans at Mercer. Look at oh, Eddie O. Eddie Oakley at Shelby County. Generals driving the ball down the lane. Sean Perkins and the bucket. Lafayette by 15. Generals getting it done from the perimeter. Eben Drew. Knocking down the three. Lafayette still holding on to that double digit lead. Generals inside of the big fella, Ray Surratt. <laughs> for the reverse, and Lafayette gets the W, 62 49. Lincoln County and Rockcastle County in the nightcap at Mercer, first quarter. 
Lincoln's Blake Smith spots up in the corner. Three ball, Patriots out to an early lead. Rocks, Isaac Stratton, one man wrecking crew. Look at that hair, look at that flow. <laughs> Salad gets the put back there. Rockets grab the lead. But Lincoln County still hitting from outside. Elijah Fry, another three. We don't have the final score, but we did see Lincoln County did win this game there at the Clash of the Titans. Clark County and Oldham County at the Kentucky Bank Challenge at Rowan County. Good ball movement by the Colonels. Christian Harper finds some open space for the jumper. And then we go north of the border. Brennan Canada was hot <laughs> from the moment he stepped off the bus. Get that man some maple syrup. Knocks down the corner three. Coach Cook says, hey, I was a point guard. I know how to dish it. How about another three? Canada. Oh, Canada for three more. Canada and he dry. delivers. <laughs> Oh, I see it. <laughs> he had 19, Clark County 61, 47 winners. Yeah, we live for that stuff. More from the Kentucky Bank <laughs> Challenge, Montgomery County and Lewis County. Will Cockrell working the post moves. The lefty hook is good for the Indians. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Cockrell fakes right. Oh, that's dirty. Yeah, baby. Going glass for two. Uh, Moco building the lead. Austin Eichenberger takes it all the way and lays it in. Moco gets the W, 66-62. I am, yeah, I'm knitting here. <laughs> East Jess in Fleming County. Still time to get your Christmas sweaters done. <laughs> Tyler Pitney, head fake, takes it inside for the Jaguar bucket. Fleming County had the early advantage. Cole Saunders scores between two defenders. Panthers up by nine. East Jess begins the comeback. Braden Embry, 4-3. East Jess by 14, 67, 53. One more from Round County. West Carter and Estill County. Third quarter is where we pick up the action. Estill's hey, Joe Benton takes the defender off the dribble, pulls up for the runner. And then West Carter off the inbound. Blake Skaggs is going to miss, but he sticks with it, follows his shot. It's the Comets by 11. And West Carter goes on to win this thing 62, 49. Franklin County on the hilltop tonight for the Huck Turner tip-off classic at Harrison County. Opening quarter, pretty perimeter passing from the Flyers. It ends with Tommy Pack for three. But the Reds bounce back on the next trip down the floor. Back-to-back -back threes from Spencer Free. No relation to world be free. <laughs> <laughs> and then Zach Cox, he is also lethal from distance. The Flyers get the W though, 74, 60. Franklin County girls hosting Campbell County. What a game this was. The Flyers were up 11 at the half, second half. Here comes Campbell County. McKinley Miller for three. The Lady Camels with eight long-range bombs in the second half. More from Campbell County. Tamara Wells is all kinds of wide wow. open. Campbell County has the lead. The Flyers miss the three, but Patience Laster is pretty darn good. Watch this little wraparound layup. Oh, yeah. Very but nice. it's Campbell County, 68-62. Wow. Heck wow. of a game. Also at Franklin County tonight, Russell and Clark County. Robbie Graham is hot and no boy. livid. No boy. Here's why. Kaylee Ross, three, let her shoot it bottoms up. Russell races to a 10-point lead. The lead swells to 17 off what? the steal. It's the pick six, but only gets two. Malia Bell and Kennedy Igo not playing due to injury. Mm, Big factor here. Yes, it was. Indeed. Early, every basket's tough to come by early on. Tyra Flowers, but Russell, 57-46 final. Well, there's a